You're listening to Zap Nights Zap Chats, a monthly video game discussion. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Zap Chats. I'm your host, Danny. I'm your co-host, Kaylee. Kaylee, how you doing? Good. How it, are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. It's, uh, it's December. Uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. If you celebrate Yay. Christmas, uh, Hanukkah, um, Yule, whatever, whatever it is that you celebrate, happy holidays. Um, if you don't celebrate anything, you can just sit on the couch by yourself, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, today, I wanted to go over some of the stuff that we've done over the past year. Um, I don't, I don't remember the last time we did this. It seems like we tend to do this a couple times a year, and I've been trying to hold back from doing that so often. But, I mean, just kind of go over a couple of the games that we've played over the past year and plans for next year, some of the games that we have um, uh, tentatively scheduled out. Um, but first, Kaylee, what have you been playing? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm resting. Um, I've been playing uh, Metroid Dread, and that's been going really well. It's very similar to Super Metroid, and I love that about it. Uh. So I'm really excited. And and Brandon's playing that also. Yeah. He's already beaten it, hasn't he? Yep, he just beat it earlier this week. Nice. I yep. can't. I can't imagine I'm too far behind him. Um, the game says I'm five hours in, even though I've played nine hours of it, but um, I die a lot, so that's probably why yeah. <laughs> the time difference. Right. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm really excited to review it. Um, and then, you know, we'll be we'll be starting new games coming up soon. So this past year, as you guys know, we play games once one game a month we dedicate our time to playing and beating one game and so that gives us 12 games over the past year um some of the uh, I'll, I'll go over the list of the games that we've played the past year um we started with untitled goose uh we had gris assassin's creed valhalla um odd world abe's odyssey final fantasy 9 um, new Pokemon Snap, Resident Evil 2, Chrono Trigger, which was phenomenal. The only game ever that we've reviewed that got a perfect score. Yeah. Um, Elibits, Final Fantasy X, Trubberbrook, and um, Final Fantasy VII, the episode intermission that we just reviewed uh, yeah. at the beginning of this month. So yeah, that's that's a lot of games. Very exciting. The top the top game is definitely Chrono Trigger, and I knew I knew going into that game that it was going to be fantastic. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, otherwise, the top the top few are probably the Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy Nine got a nine point seven, which is about as good as they come outside of a perfect score. And then Final Fantasy X got a 9.3. So, like, you know, obviously we love the Final Fantasy games, so they're yeah. going to get higher <laughs> scores. Um, Pokemon Snap did pretty well at 8.4. Uh, Gris did really well at 8.8. .8. So, I mean, we've, we played some really good games this year. Some of the low-tier games that we've played... Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla actually is on the lower end with the 7.2, and that's kind of surprising considering... That game I put the most amount of time in. I think yeah. out of out of all of the games that I've played for the podcast, this one tips the scales at uh, 130 hours for me. Jeez, <laughs> just absurd. And then to have it at a lower end score, uh, it it kind of breaks my heart. But it's all right. <laughs> Um, Elibits was also one that got a pretty low score, but the lowest score this year was, uh, Trubberbrook. And that's, you'd have to listen to the episode, but I mean, it makes sense. It, it wasn't a triple A game. It was, it was an indie developed game. It was kind of a low tier, you know, we, we threw it together because we could. And, you know, it was, it was a fun experience, yeah. but definitely a lower, it was six, six point eight out of 10. It's not terrible. Not like a four or a two or something, but yeah. I don't think anything has gotten a zero out of 10. 
No, and I don't think there ever will be a game that gets a zero out of ten. I mean, even Mary Kate and Ashley is deserving of one point. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the standard. Like, a kid, if it's not worse than Mary Kate and Ashley, it at least deserves a one. <laughs> I know. If if you guys don't know, um, one of the first thrift shop games that we played was Mary Kate and Ashley, and um, way back then when we first started the podcast, we used to play a thrift shop game and review that along with the main game. Um, just to add extra content to it. Well, we've dropped that since, but we still had Mary Kate Nashley as like our first thrift shop game, and you can watch the video of that on um on YouTube. <laughs> but it's <sighs> not great. It, it's like been the butt of like those jokes and like <laughs> I don't know. It is kind of funny that it was one of our first games, and it was terrible. It was so bad. Yes. <laughs> We should uh, do that for the podcast. Like a <laughs> do full, a full episode full on Mary Kate and Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's possible. You know what? I would rather do that. The Final Fantasy one. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh man. So, um, for the year, um, I'm pulling up timestamps now. Um, for the year, we have recorded. Two or no, sorry, all time, not just for the this past year, all time. We the podcast we have recorded two thousand seven hundred and twenty hours worth of gameplay. Um, that's not every game. There's a couple games that we missed. Um, we weren't able to get the times from. Uh, back when Seth and Evan used to do the podcast with us, they were terrible at recording times, so we don't have a lot of those. Um, but any game that I've played is on here and most of the games that you've played kaylee are on here Mm -hmm. um i even have like brandon's time broken up in here and Lori's time broken up in here so most most people um we have in here but yeah uh almost three thousand hours dedicated to the podcast as far as um gameplay time that's not including actual podcast recording time which is like way more um, but this year alone, we have done, uh, I've recorded 511 hours of gameplay. Uh, Kaylee, you have 114 hours in that, and I have almost 300 hours. Uh, it's 295 yeah. hours of gameplay time. So that's, that's a lot of time put into, uh, yeah. into this past year. Um, you know, again, Assassin's Creed Valhalla being a huge one. I mean, if that one wasn't in there, obviously it'd be significantly less. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's mainly because I put so much time into doing a lot of the side quests and stuff that I really didn't have to do, but I did because I enjoyed playing the game. But it still blows my mind that I got such a low score. <laughs> but again, it is what it is. I'm surprised Untitled Goose didn't score a little bit higher. Like, in my memory, it was such a good game. You know what I mean? Yeah, and... <laughs> I mean, a 7.8, not terrible. Oh, yeah, it's still good, it's just... But yeah, no, it. I, I think it's just because there was so much room for it to be even better. Yeah. And when you're playing a game and you're like, this is great, but the, those start to pile up. And I think that Untitled Goose was definitely that way yeah. where it's like, this is so great, but this, you know, it could, we could right. do more with this. But yeah, no, I, I agree. I think it was a lot of fun. There is a game very similar to that that I just saw a uh, trailer for. Um, is it the cat one? It, it's the cat one, yeah. Yeah. Where you run around as a cat and you're just like causing you trouble. You find your way home or something like that. Yeah. It was really cute. Um, There's another cat game that we saw a trailer for a long time ago. Um, What's that game called, Lori? Stray. Stray. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, yeah, Stray. And it's like they, they announced it a while ago and had a trailer for it, and they had like one more trailer for it since, but like we haven't seen anything, and it supposedly is is to be released early next year. I'm wondering oh. if that's been changed <laughs> over the past couple years since they've announced it, but yeah, I don't know. I I'm 
watching the trailers again just recently, I'm like, I want to play this game yeah. so bad. <laughs> so let's talk about um, what we're planning on playing uh, coming up in 2022. Um, right now we're playing Metroid Dread, and that'll be released on January 1st. Um, we're really pushing to start playing Final Fantasy XI as soon as possible. Like, yeah. sometime in January, um, you know, at, at least early February. But I want to try and get a couple months of gameplay in to give it a fair, um, you know, a fair review. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's going to be enough time to beat the main game. I really would like to hope that it is. I, I just don't know. Having never played or obviously not beat Final Fantasy XI, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like ev All the information I look up online on how long it, it takes to beat it is like way over 100. So it's like, I don't know if we're going to need, you know, two months or three months or five months. I have no idea. No idea. 11 months. 11 months. Okay. 11. <laughs> well, that'll be the series. 11 months of Final 11 Fantasy 11. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and that's just like the main game. That's not all the expansions. Um, yeah. I kind of figured that we would treat the expansions like we did with the DLC of Final Fantasy VII Remake, where mm -hmm. basically, if we want to play the expansions, it would be its own storyline, it would be its own podcast episode. Um, yeah, I mean, that's probably the best way to go about that. That said, um, I also want to try and get through Final Fantasy uh, 12 and 13 by the end of this year, and maybe even start 14 by this time next year. Does that I'll make sense? Before we know it. I know. Um, 14 months of 14. <laughs> It'll take us that long. I'm I sure. Know, I know. I'm really hoping that I love the game. Everyone says that it's really, really good. I yeah. know you've been talking a lot about it lately. Um, I, it's just the, the RP, the MMO thing really is yeah. daunting, but, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll s uh, 11 will be a good introductory for me to that kind of experience because Hopefully. they've changed 11 so much over the past, however many years it's been out a lot, like 20 years or something like that. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see, um, how, one, how well it's held up over the years and two, you know, a game that has been in, honestly constant development for since it was released how well it's um mm -hmm. how well i can pick it up and play it like i feel like this should be a good game because all of the kinks are worked out right <laughs> theoretically <laughs> yeah, right um otherwise um outside of final fantasy horizon forbidden west is coming out um in february so we're gonna take a a month or so to play that we'll, we'll play it through the month of uh, March. So that should be an episode out in April. That'll be really exciting. Um, Lori actually reviewed horizon zero dawn with me back a few years ago. And so Kaylee, I'm really hoping you could play horizon zero dawn so that you can catch up with yeah. uh, forbidden West. Cause it's catch such a time. It's such a great game. Uh, horizon zero dawn is such a great game and forbidden West just looks amazing. So I'm so excited. I, I hope that I hope that you'll love it with us. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then for spoken also, that's a square Enix game. Yeah. Um, they just announced for spoken's, release date and that's supposed to be at the end of may so um i'm kind of hoping to pick that up day one and just start playing it right out of the gate like it it's something that's been on my radar ever since they announced it and i'm just mm -hmm. i'm really excited for this game it looks really cool we finally have we both have a ps5 at this point so like these games should be no problem we should be able to pick these games up and just start playing them and ah uh, I'm just I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I can't think of any other games off the top of my head that we're planning on playing. Um, perhaps The Last of Us will be early this year. Um, 
but there's a there's a lot of games we have so many games to pick from yeah. and you know it's it's tough to find games that fit our mood for the time we have games that it's like oh yeah i really want to play like like you were talking about earlier um uh chrono cross and it's like yeah i i would really love to play chrono cross i've never yeah. beat chrono cross so that'd be a great one shoot even crimson echoes oh yeah yeah exactly and you pronounced it right this time. I know. Aren't you proud of me? I I'll am, never yeah. pro- mispronounce it again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I kind of would like to play that game before we play Chrono Cross because yeah, it's supposed sure. to be the like in between. Well, no, it's supposed to be the in between of Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. I see. That's the concept of Crimson Echoes. It's it's not developed by Square in any way. It's it's a. Uh, it's a fan-made game, but mm-hmm. it's supposed to merge those two worlds together with the information that Square has released and then a little bit of artistic style put into it. But mm-hmm. it sounds really cool. Um, you know, there's Final Fantasy Type-O I would really love to put on our radar, too. Um, also, speaking of Final Fantasy, uh, Crisis Core would be really cool to throw in. Yeah. Uh, Definitely hope- after playing Intergrade. Integr- oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I would really like to see that game remade, though I, we've talked about it before. I don't think they would. It has something to do with uh, Genesis. He's like modeled yeah. after a pop star or something in Japan. Gact, Gact. Yeah. Um, yep. I'm butchering it, probably. I'm sure, yeah. but yeah, I get it. Um, I. <sighs> Yeah, I would love to see that one remade. I don't think it will be. Well, I, we'll probably just have to play the PSP version as is. But I mean, you know, with the second part of Final Fantasy VII coming out soonish, sure. <laughs> probably. Yeah. If I were to guess, I'd say maybe, uh, twenty twenty three would be yeah. my guess is when when they'll release it. But who knows? I mean, same with Final Fantasy sixteen. That could be coming out by the end of next year. We have no idea. We have no idea. And at least right now, I would say as soon as Final Fantasy 16 gets announced and released, we're going to fit it into the schedule right away. Because we, we did the same thing with 15. We yeah. played it and, you know, it came, it was released. We were excited about it and we just played it and reviewed it. I mean, we've already played at this point, we've played all the Final Fantasy games, um, individually not not just for the podcast but we've played them on our own time i mean we're really close to having them all reviewed at this point so i mean throwing 16 in there wouldn't be a big deal um yeah so yeah it'll be cool uh any other games that you're thinking about for i mean maybe not this year but like soon as soon as we can get it on the books I, I am getting excited a little bit for Valkyrie Profile. Ooh, wow. Yeah, it's that's, been on my mind lately. That's one that we've been putting off since we I started know. the podcast. I still am a little hesitant. I, I don't know. We'll see. I actually made a... Um, I made a background for Twitch of that game like months ago months ago because we initially started it and i remember telling you i don't know if i'm feeling this game i don't know if i can do it and we ended up swapping out our plans i think because i think we had like a full month not a month like a week in and i was like "Mm." i don't think i started it i think i was going to start it and Probably. then we we just decided not to because I I didn't start it at all. The only other game that I can think of that you may have played like a week of was um, Tales uh, Tales of oh, Fantasia. Yeah. Oh man, I did not like that. <laughs> I was not okay with that. <laughs> That's too bad because I heard a lot of really good things about that. But you no, know, it's fine. Well, there's plenty of games for us to play. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, no. Valkyrie profile would be really cool to play. I would really like that. Yeah. Uh, looking through some of the lists, some of the games that I have on my list, I really, some of these like easier games like, uh, echo and, um, journey and, um, I don't know. Some of these, some of these games that we can get through in like six ish hours are really nice for those. Like, like Final Fantasy, when we're playing Final Fantasy for three months, 
it would be really nice to just throw some of these quick games into the mix. Yeah. Um, I even Uncharted is only like ten hours. I feel like you know if Brandon want even wanted to play Uncharted. And oh man, he would love it too. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Oh, they are really good games. If um, if you like The Last of Us, you'll you'll like. I think you'll like Uncharted. Sure. Not because they're the same, but like, I don't know how to explain it. I think you'll like it though. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have played probably at least half of The Last of Us, and we, me and Lori, played it before we started the podcast, and we got about halfway through, and then we moved, and in that move, we stopped playing it. And it just, it was something that we kind of talked about picking it up again and we talked about it and talked about it and it was like, it never really happened. And then like the longer you put it off, the more it's like, well, at this point we have to completely play over again. (laughs) And so it just, it's never happened. So trying to have it on our list here early um, next year, I think it'll be fun. Um, I'm not planning on streaming that game. It'll probably be just something that me and Lori sit down and play, you know, on the weekends or whatever, just oh, casually. I would have definitely uh, made more of it. I need to make more of an effort regardless, but I would have made an effort to uh, yeah. watch you play. It's a good game. Um, I am streaming Metroid Dread. Um, I'm streaming. I'm planning on streaming Final Fantasy XI in all of its wh- whatever that turns <laughs> out to be. Um, Forbidden West, I'm planning on streaming, uh, pretty much all the Final Fantasy games, uh, Forspoken, I'm planning on streaming. So it's like, I watch the stream as much as I can, but like the past, I don't know, few months, I really haven't streamed. Like we played, uh, the intermission DLC for Final Fantasy seven. Um, we didn't stream that cause we play that together. Uh, Trubber Brook, I played while we were on our train trip um, a few months ago. Uh, Final Fantasy X was the last one that we actually streamed, so it's been like almost four months since <laughs> since I've streamed anything. But it's nice to be back into it, and some some familiar faces yeah. are jumping in, and that's always fun. Um, if you guys don't already know, you can check us out at twitch.tv forward slash zapnight, and that'll link you to our page and you can follow us over there. Um, right now my streaming schedule is Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, um, eight o'clock to 11 o'clock central time. So, you know, if you want to come and hang out, I would love to sit and chit chat about games in general. It doesn't have to be about what we're playing. Um, just to have a chance to say hi would be awesome. 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 Um, yeah. Anything else about this year? What what game, Kaylee? What game do Final you Fantasy remember? Nine. <laughs> Final Fantasy Nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, Final Fantasy Nine and Final Fantasy Ten. We those were the only game, the Final Fantasy games that we got through this year, and they were both hit me really in the good. feels. Yeah, hit me in the feels. I very nostalgic. Uh, Untitled Goose was really good. Pokemon. Did we play Diamond this year? Uh, no, that was last year. It feels like it was just yesterday. Yeah. And <laughs> we gave it, like, a really bad score, too. Yeah, I'm, I know we did. A six six 6.3. But yeah, we played that September of 2020. So that's that's been a while. But, you know, um, Pokemon Snap, though. Pokemon oh, yeah, that's Snap true. Pokemon Snap was really good. Yeah. And a little bit. Elements yeah, was Elements was fun. We had some good games. Chrono Trigger, obviously. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, we had a lot of nostalgic games. Like a lot of our childhood was in this this year. This year, yeah, for sure. Um Shannon was on the podcast for the I, first time yeah. this year. Um so those of you who don't know, <laughs> if somehow you don't know, me and Kaylee are brother and sister, and then we have another sister younger than us, Shannon. And um, we, I've been trying to get her on the podcast forever, but she has a couple kids now, and she's busy working, and I, she's not quite 
as into video games as me and Kaylee are. So getting her on the podcast was a little bit more challenging, but we found something that we really yeah. got along playing and um, we played Odd World together and that was really cool. It was a really different game. Um, lots of swearing involved playing that game. <laughs> it's not it's not easy. It's very puzzly and um, I don't know. It, it was a lot of fun though. It's definitely a different type of podcast episode too because me and Shannon have a different vibe than me and Kaylee do. So, you know, listening to that podcast is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, not I mean, as cool. not as cool. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then, um, we had a couple guests this year. We had Brandon on for Val or, uh, Valhalla. We had Shannon on for Abe's, Abe's Odyssey, odd world, Abe's Odyssey. We had Jinx on for, um, resident evil two. That was cool. And Lori was in here too, when we did trouble Brook. So uh. Had had quite the crew this year, and then Kaylee, you were on a lot of them. I which was for once. There's been years where you weren't in a whole lot. Of I them. know. <laughs> in fact, well, looking looking through my list back in August of 2020, you had like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months straight where we you were consistent. <laughs> what was uh? You didn't tell me what your your fa- most memorable game was. Oh, definitely Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Um, you know, I it's not the first yeah. time that we had played Chrono Trigger and I knew that this was going to be a phenomenal game going into it. I having played it multiple times in the past. It was my first RPG ever that I had played Aww. and to revisit it again for this podcast was really awesome. It was something that I've been kind of putting aside because I knew that it was going to be great, but it's like, I don't know if I want to look at it with that critical magnifying glass. And even after looking at it with the critical magnifying glass, I'm like, nah, nah, it's, it's a great game. <laughs> the nice thing about Chrono Trigger was I didn't think about it as pulling it apart to critically analyze it as it was to just pull it apart and examine it. Right. You know what I mean? Like you're, for me, it was, I mean, it, you were being critical about it. You had to be for that, for the rating, but it was nice pulling it apart and being like, you know, I appreciate these individual things about this game. Exactly. Game. Yeah. Love that game. <laughs> well, and, and I'm sure you felt the same way about nine too. When you're yeah. looking, you're looking at these games that you love so much with that magnifying glass, you know, you, yeah. you're kind of worried about what you're going to see. <laughs> you know, yeah. when, you're, when you're thinking about playing these games, it's like, okay, you know, I'm going to be playing this game that I loved as a kid. What am I going to find looking at it with such, you know, so, yeah. scrutinizing every detail about it am i still gonna love this game and to come out the other side and be like no yeah it's it's deserving yeah. of loving you know this game yeah not that not that you know if we looked at final fantasy 9 and it was a terrible game it wouldn't change much about how you felt about right. it it just would be like oh that's too bad that you know yeah it didn't turn out as well like i'm sure a lot of people feel that way about um um pokemon diamond a lot of people love Pokemon Diamond and yeah. Pearl, and we played it, and I just tore it apart. I hated that game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't enjoy it. And You know, it definitely influenced my willingness to buy the remake, uh, I, of which I didn't. <laughs> I, I mean, didn't I either. might in the future, but I, I didn't want to run out there and buy it day one. For I sure. think that the bonus about having a remake like they did for diamond and pearl is they have this opportunity to make it better. And not that I know of any changes that they've made, but I mean, there's that opportunity to make it better and mm. hopefully they did. Hopefully they listened to the podcast was like, Oh no, Danny, Danny and Kaylee have this <laughs> spot on. We need to change these things. <laughs> One day. <laughs> it's funny because we reviewed Pokemon Diamond and Pearl before. I'm pretty sure it was before the remake was announced. I, yeah. Though we knew that it was coming down the pipe eventually, but it was the only Pokemon game in the series that I never played. So, like, you know, to have a chance to sit down and play this game with fresh eyes was fun. I just was hoping yeah. it was going to be a better game than it actually was. I am curious if. Because, you know, my memory of that game was so good. 
I wondered if yours would have been if you had played it when you were younger. You know what I mean? Like when it first but, came out. And we talked about that on the podcast episode. Um, I think that back then there was a high involvement of the online um, sure. socializing with this game. And now that online aspect of it is gone. So, like, this was the first game that they had the, like, the live events where you could go and, like, you could go to Toys R Us and pick up the Pokemon. Or you could, like, meet together with a bunch of people and, like, do the um, the underground stuff together. But, like, playing it as a single-player game without all of that hype around it makes mm. it not as fun. And I'm pretty sure that that's what you you probably saw a lot of that having gone to some of those events and, you know, had friends that were also playing the game. That's part of what made that fun. But for me playing it as a, you know, several years later, it, it's just, that wasn't there. So it was just the game in its raw format and it didn't turn out as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I yep. would like to play more Pokemon games. Uh, we don't have too many of them in our, backlog of podcast episodes that we've played um blue uh red and blue and um snap. the pokemon let's go we played the snap games we played the let's go pikachu and eevee uh pokemon snap yeah we played um pokemon sword and shield and then the new Pokemon Snap and Diamond and Pearl. So, like, we don't have too many Pokemon games under our belt, though the reality is a lot of them are similar to each other. But I remember back when um, Sun and Moon came out? Sun and Moon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I actually bought that game for both of us to review on I the know. podcast. And, like, I beat the game and Kaylee hadn't even started. I don't even... Have you played it yet? Have you played any of it yeah, yet? Yeah, I think I got halfway through when I abandoned it. Ah, okay. <laughs> I did get halfway through, though. And, like, by the time you were, like, getting halfway through, I had already forgotten about anything yeah. of the story. And I'm like, you know what? Shame. We'll just play it again later. And maybe it deserves another playthrough. You know, now that now that I have the ability to stream 3DS games, I think that would be yeah. really fun to play. I really would love to review Pokemon X and Y. That's probably my favorite my favorite gen of all the Pokemon games is Aww. X and Y. But yeah, I I really would like to try and throw more Pokemon games into the mix eventually. Maybe maybe we can get at least one in this year. I think that would be fun. But we'll yeah. see. We'll see. Well, um, anything else you want to talk about, Kaylee? No, I think we covered quite a bit today. Uh, yeah, I think we rambled on longer than I was expecting to <laughs> ramble on. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you all so much for hanging out and listening to this um, episode of Zap Chats. Uh, we have all sorts of social media out there if you want to follow us. Uh, Instagram, um, YouTube. Uh, we don't use Twitter, so you can't find us there. <laughs> I mean, we're there, we just never use it. Um, kind of how I feel about Discord right now. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, Discord's the same way. Uh, but yeah, follow us on all, all of our social media. Most of it's Zap Night Gaming. Um, so yeah, it's we're, we have some big plans coming up for next year. Uh, a lot of different types of um, uh, content on our YouTube page as well. So check us out over there. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.